Hey guys, it's Jessica from JPEZ Talks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your Google Drive. These details should be really helpful for both students and adult newbies. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and let's go. Let's get right to it. I'm just gonna show you from scratch, even though some of you might already know this. So I go into Google and the first thing you can do is actually go up to the little app section. Um, some people call this the waffle, you know, because it looks like a little waffle iron and that's kind of cute. So you can select it here and you have everything related to Google. So if you like, you can go into your email, you can go into YouTube from there, all of that good stuff. So I'm going into my work email and I'm noticing that, oh, you know, I don't need an email. Let me go to my drive. So I'm gonna select this beautiful little triangle here and it's selected. So of course you can actually get to the drive by going to the search bar right here and typing in just Google slash drive. But I feel that the little waffle here is just as good. So, wow, look at all of my folders. I have quite a few and notice that most of them are gray and that is the default that Google gives you. You know what though? This is too much. Let's start fresh with, um, let's start with my husband's Gmail. Now I've gone to his Google Drive and he has given me permission to use this and I've noticing that there's not as much here so I thought it'd be a great way to sort of show you how to start. I need to organize my files. What does that look like? You go up here to the upper left hand corner to the control center, hit new, and I would start with folder. And I love this because you actually get to give it a name. So let's say you have an English language arts class. So English language arts. And of course you have papers to type in that class. So I've created a folder. So now I have two. I have this other thing I've created previously. I don't need that right now. So now anything related to English or language arts can go into the folder. All right. Well, how do I do that? One way to do that is to double click. And wow, this folder is blank, like a lovely little empty manila folder. What if I have a project? I have to type a paper about Oh, I don't know. What do we like? The Avengers. The, go on now. The Avengers. My dream to become a superhero. You know, blah, 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 blah. You can type whatever you would like. Please give your document a name. There's nothing worse than seeing untitled and saying, what's that? I'm just going to call this the Avengers because really that's, the first thing I typed here, no problem. Let's go back to my drive. Now I want to create another folder. Maybe you have a science class and you're required to make documents for science and perhaps you want to make a PowerPoint. So you might go into Google Slides. You have all kinds of cool options to make a project. Let's, what's something, what do you do in science class? I'm going to call it volcanoes and that's great. I like my project volcanoes, but I don't need to work on it right now. So I'm just going to, I just know that this is saved and I'm happy with it. So anything that you've done recently will always be laying up here at the very top. So don't let that distract you. Your folders are what will keep you organized. So we've created an English folder. We have an everything for maybe miscellaneous items and we have science. So maybe we want another folder. What else do you do? Maybe you want a folder for job info. And I actually still have one of these to this day. I put anything, any resumes, any recommendations, anything useful that would go into the job info. By the way, you might notice that Google Drive will organize everything for you alphabetically. If that bothers you, you can go in, you can actually play around and rename your folder here. You can go down to rename and you say, you know what, 
I want this to be last, so you can actually kind of cheat the system here. Double X, English Language Arts. And, you know, that's only if you care about that. Another fun feature is the fact that we can actually change the color of these grayscale folders. You can actually scroll down and select Change Color. Ooh, I want my miscellaneous folder to be red. Why not? And maybe job info that's really important, so I'm going to double click or click with two fingers on the trackpad. And job means money, so green for money. So as you can see, I like to have things laid out in these little tiles. I think it looks good that way. This is my own, and this is the new one that we're creating. But you can actually go up here to the top right hand corner there and select list view. And then that'll show everything in the list order. And you still have quick access here at the top. And that's great because anything that's super recent, you can just select here. But if you don't like this way, you can always go back and go back to the little, I'm calling it tiles, just like this. Um, so let's create just a couple more folders. So just in case, let's do folder and let's do, um, let's do math. You might have a math folder, perhaps, I don't know. With online learning these days, why not? So now we have our folders with the most important being right here, maybe at the top where you can easily access it. So now if I want to write something for my English class, I'm going to go double click into my folder. Well, remember, we have two documents here. If we don't like a document or if we're finished with it, you can either right click and select remove, just like that, and it's gone, very nice. What if you want to delete a folder because you just don't need it anymore, you've finished with it? Math, we can click here and remove, no problem. What if we have a lot of complicated things, let's say in our English class, we have the work that we're doing for school. What if we want to create a secondary folder? Let's see what we can do. Let's go to new and do folder. Let's call it creative writing and now create. So what in the world have I done here? Let's go back to the drive just to make sure. Okay, everything looks the same. So if I go back into my English language arts tab, oh, so I've got the document that I created earlier for the Avengers, and there's a folder inside a folder. Does that make sense? So now, maybe creative writing is a big deal. You want it to be in this overall category. You can create folders, and that's, that's just going to keep you organized. So you can always double click in here, and let's just say, we're gonna write a story about, I'll just be silly here, let's write Harry Potter, and we're gonna call it Harry Potter Fan Fiction because why not, we love it. Okay, so now we like it, maybe we've typed something here, blah, da, 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 da. Okay, now if we're finished with it, you know you can just X out, come up here to the top, and if you don't like all those tabs open, hit X, now we can just shuffle on back. Here's where we were. Go back once more and we're back to our original drive. So for this next example, I just want to show you a really nifty trick. I have some random files down here that I have not organized and they need somewhere to go. Let's see, I wanna put JPEZ tutoring services. I want that to go into, needs to go into my reading folder for some reason. I can just click and drag and hover over the reading tile and then boom, it goes inside the reading tile. Let's see if it's actually there though. Yep, there it is. So you can click and drag. If you don't like clicking and dragging, you can always do this. You can right click, move to, where is it? There it is, move to, and I wanna move this particular document to wherever. I'm going to select vocabulary. So it's going to go into vocabulary, hit move, and it's there. So I, if, if I want to double check, I can click in here 
And this is the document that I just placed inside the vocabulary folder. Thank goodness. The last thing I want to show you is document recovery. Now I know that Google Docs will actually save anything that you've been writing. Let's say you're typing in a document and you realize that you have made so many new add-ons. Let's say you've edited so much and you actually miss some of the old stuff. Like if you have hit this lovely little undo button so many times you think, uh-oh, I actually want to go back and see all of the edits I've made, all of the previous versions. What you do is go up to the file tab, scroll down to version history, and you can select see version history. And once you click on that, you can actually see what you've done. And that's really nifty because now it shows all the previous stuff that maybe you cut out. If you have to prove to somebody, oh, I, I wrote all of these items and they got deleted. Well, here they are again. And you can actually go up and name them something like draft one, draft two. So there you have it. Message me in the comments below if you need any kind of extra help. I know I love using Google Drive. It's just completely useful. All right, guys. Good luck on all of your work.